Good morning, everybody. The intention of the Mass is for Mike Jarvis. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Numbers. The sons of Israel, the whole community, arrived in the first month in the desert of Zin. The people settled at Kadesh. It was there that Miriam died and was buried. There was no water for the community, and they were all united against Moses and Aaron. The people challenged Moses. We would rather have died, they said as our brothers died before the Lord. Why did you bring the assembly of the Lord into this wilderness, only to let us die here, ourselves and our cattle? Why did you lead us out of Egypt, only to bring us to this wretched place? It is a place unfit for sowing. It has no figs, no vines, no pomegranates, and there is not even water to drink. Leaving the assembly, Moses and Aaron went to the door of the tent of meeting. They threw themselves face downwards on the ground, and the glory of the Lord appeared to them. The Lord spoke to Moses and said, Take the branch and call the community together, you and your brother Aaron. Then, in full view of them, order this rock to give water. You will make more to flow for them out of the rock and provide drink for the community and their cattle. Moses took up the branch from before the Lord as he had directed him. Then Moses and Aaron called out the assembly together in front of the rock and addressed them. Listen now, you rebels. Shall we make water gush from this rock for you? And Moses raised his hand and struck the rock twice with the branch. Water gushed out in abundance, and the community drank, and their cattle too. Then the Lord said to Moses and Aaron, Because you did not believe that I could proclaim my holiness in the eyes of the sons of Israel, you shall not let them, this assembly into the land, you should not lead this assembly into the land I am giving to them. These are the waters of Meribah, where the sons of Israel challenged the Lord and he proclaimed his holiness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, bring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks. With songs, let us hail the Lord. Oh, that, oh, that today, today you would listen, listen to his, to his voice, voice. Harden not, not your, your hearts. Heart. Come in, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God, and we, the people who belong to his pasture, the oh, flock that, that is led by his hand. 
O oh, that today you would listen to his voice, harden not your hearts. O oh, that today you would listen to his voice, harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as on that day at Massa in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my work. O oh, oh, that, that today you would listen, listen to his voice, voice harden not, not your hearts. Heart. Please stand to greet the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord is faithful in all his words and loving in all his deeds. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philippi, he put this question to his disciples, who do people say the Son of Man is? And they said, some say he's John the Baptist, some Elijah, others Jeremiah or one of the apostles of the prophets. But you, he said, who do you say I am? Then Simon Peter spoke up, you are the Christ, he said, the Son of the living God. Jesus replied, Simon, son of Jonah, you are a happy man because it was not flesh and blood that revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. So I now say to you, you are Peter, and on this rock I build my church, and the gates of the underworld can never hold out against it. I'll give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be considered bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth shall be considered loosed in heaven. Then he gave the disciples strict orders not to tell anyone that he was the Christ. From that time, Jesus began to make it clear to his disciples that he was destined to go to Jerusalem and suffer grievously at the hands of the elders and chief priests and scribes, to be put to death and to be raised up on the third day. Then taking him aside, Peter started to remonstrate with him. Heaven preserve you, Lord, he said. This must not happen to you. But he turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are an obstacle to my path. Because the way you think is not God's way, but man's. The Gospel of the Lord. Water is a necessity of life, highly appreciated, particularly by men living in an arid country like the Jews, or as they experienced in the desert on their way to the promised land. Water easily becomes the symbol of God, who is at the same time both a firm, reliable rock and life-giving water. Faith in this rock is demanded. In the gospel, Jesus faces his apostles with the question, Who am I? Peter, in the name of all, professes that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of the living God, even though probably there is no direct recognition here yet of his divinity. After this confession, the Lord gives Peter his mission as head of the apostolic college and of the church. Now that they know who he is, he can tell them also of his passion, death, and resurrection. Yet this seems too much at that time. Peter protests. His faith is not strong enough. He thinks still in human terms. We profess to know who Jesus is, but do we too not think too often in merely human ways? Let us pray that the Lord Jesus may be and remain the cornerstone on which our lives are built, and that we may build upon the church by our loving and dedicated service. Lord, hear us. We pray with Mary as we say, Hail Mary, full of
full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. <laughs> Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father, most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as a Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so the angels and all the saints will declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son and the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son and the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts to pray by sending thine spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Pope and Mark our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph as spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to request to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. I will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but do have some evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. <coughs> Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that he should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Body of 
body of Christ. 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 God bless you. Body of Christ. 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 God bless you. Body of Christ. 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 Let us pray. Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, the Mass is ended.